So what's up guys, Xenogrid here and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I am going to show you guys how you can easily change the thermal paste of your GPU at your home. Changing the thermal paste can actually improve performance and fix overheating issues of your GPU. Now you don't need to change the thermal paste of a new GPU, but if your GPU is over one and a half years old, then I recommend you change it. The GPU I have taken for demonstration purpose is a MSI GT1030, but the procedure will be the same for most GPUs. However, if you have an expensive GPU like a RTX card or something like that, and you are not good at disassembling electronics, I would recommend you ask an expert to do it for you. And like any procedure like this, do it at your own risk, I am not responsible if you end up breaking your GPU. I hope you won't and let's begin. Here are the things that you will need. First of all, the GPU itself. I mean obviously you will need the GPU to change the paste, then you will need a screwdriver set. Well, you don't actually need the whole set, just make sure you have the correct type of screwdriver head for your GPU screws. The next thing you will need is some isopropyl alcohol. Now I don't have any isopropyl alcohols close to me, so I am just going to use these alcohol pads. You can get them at most pharmacy or medical stores. But if you don't have that either, you can actually use hand sanitizer as that contains alcohol as well. The next thing you will need is some cotton buds. This one is optional but it will be quite useful for cleaning the GPU. The next thing you will need is a thermal paste. It is quite important that you don't cheap out on thermal paste. Using bad thermal paste might even worsen the temperatures. Use the high quality thermal paste from a renowned brand. The one I have here is Deepcool Z5 or Z5 however you wanna say it. This one does the job quite well and this one also comes with a thermal paste applicator. Well that's optional. And basically these are the items that you will need for the procedure. Sorry for interrupting but if this video helps then please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it will mean a lot to me. And share this video with a friend who needs to change the thermal paste of their GPU. First of all you have to look at the back side of your GPU and identify which screws you have to unscrew. Most cards that don't have back plate will have 4 screws like this. Now let me show this with another GPU which is a GT730 and as you guys can see here it also has 4 screws. However, if your GPU has a back plate, basically a plate right here, then you might see that there are screws at corners and you have to unscrew them first. Now every GPU is different so I can show you that but I hope you can figure it out yourself. What we're basically trying to do here is that we're trying to remove the heatsink from the PCB board and most of the times they are connected with a few screws. Well now let's prepare our screwdriver and start the unscrewing process. Well for most GPUs you'll need Philips set screwdriver and another thing I almost forgot is that you might have to disconnect the fan first. Well for this GPU you don't actually need to but what you have to do is basically pull the connector from the socket. And also be careful while doing this as you can easily damage the GPU pins. After the fan is disconnected we can start unscrewing and that's quite straightforward I hope you can do it. So basically just go ahead and unscrew them. And also don't forget to store the screws carefully as you will need them to reassemble the GPU. After unscrewing the heatsink and the PCB board will come apart. On the PCB board this part that you can see here is the main processing unit of the GPU. And you have to change the thermal paste here. Well this is basically what a GPU looks from the inside. By the way, you might see some thermal pads in your GPU, do not destroy them and be as careful as you can while handling, especially they can break easily. Oh and also you will see some amount of thermal paste stuck on the heatsink, that's also alright. Now what we are gonna do is clean our old thermal paste. Well if you are going to use isopropyl alcohol, then you can dip a cotton bud into the alcohol and clean it. But I am just gonna use some alcohol pads.
Also, don't forget to clean the heat sink. After doing some thorough cleaning, this is what the core of the GPU looks like. Quite shiny and beautiful, not gonna lie. Now let's apply our thermal paste. Well for that, take your thermal paste and place a really really tiny drop of paste on the GPU. It should feel like it's not enough. For a GPU like this, this much should be more than enough. Now this part is optional, but I'm gonna take the thermal paste applicator and spread the paste on the GPU. This is what it looks like after spreading the thermal paste. Now this part is also optional, but I'm also gonna put a little bit of thermal paste on the heatsink as well. Well, after completing that, we have successfully changed the thermal paste of our GPU. Now let's assemble the GPU again. For that, flip the PCB and the heatsink. Now this is a small GPU, so it fits on the palm of my hand, but you might want to take help for bigger GPUs. Just align the screw holes of the PCB and the heatsink. Then put the corner screws first and tighten them properly. After successfully assembling the screws, don't forget to connect the GPU fan. On the fan connector, you'll see a notch like this. And the connector will only go one way on the port. So just connect it and that's it. Congratulations, you have successfully changed the thermal paste of your GPU. Thanks for watching, that's it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video.